So today is a very exciting day. Sorry if my makeup looks a little too much. I'm kind of in the dark so you can't really see the full effect, but it is an exciting day for me. Again, as usual, I always say, sorry I've been MIA, but like so much has happened and I feel like I have so much to catch up with you guys. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to start with my graduation. Today is my graduation. Sorry, I'm moving around a lot. I'm still trying to put on my makeup. Um, yeah, it is graduation day. And a friend of mine, my actually not a friend of mine, one of my bestest friends is like, you have to record this moment. So P, thank you. Um, she said you have to record this moment because that's the whole reason why I started the channel to begin with. So I thought I'll take you guys along with me and maybe later explain everything that happened, but I'll try to put in some pictures as well. Yesterday we had an award ceremony. Um, if I remember, I'll try to put some pictures in. Um, but today is the graduation, so I just finished getting ready. I don't know what time it is. Um, it's almost time, actually. So I'm going to try to clean my room because my room looks like a disaster. And I don't know if you guys saw that clip. I got a little kitten. That was Luna. She's hiding here somewhere. She's actually in my hiding in the window, getting some sun. She's tanning a little bit. She's my my little vango. She's so cute. But we'll, 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 you'll meet her later. We have so much to catch up on, but today is graduation day. Let's just let's just get through this, okay? Um, I have my regalia here. I haven't put it on yet, so I'll try to put it on, and then I'll see if I can give you kind of like a look. So give me a sec. But before that, I need to show you my outfit. My okay. Let me go to the bathroom. Maybe I can show you a little better. Okay. So, I'm going to turn this around. Hold on. So, this is my outfit. This is actually supposed to go a little further down. Um, we'll figure out how we want it. But, um, this is how I'm looking. This is my dress. My shoes, guys. You won't believe where I got these. I'm not even going to tell you. I'm going to see if you guys can figure it out. These are the cutest things ever. But, this is the outfit of the day. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Sorry. Put on my regalia or my what do you guys what do you guys like to call it? I've been calling it regalia because my school has been calling it regalia this past couple weeks. Come pick up your regalia. Make sure you put on that. Um, but I'm gonna go put it on and then yeah, we'll go from there. I'm just excited. I just it's kind of surreal. If you guys knew what I went through, <laughs> some of you guys know. My close people know. I'm gonna try to explain as much as I can without saying too much because a lot of it is very personal, but let's not worry about that today. Let's go put that on. <clears throat> okay, so I have my coat and my whatever this thing on. I forgot what it's called. <sighs> the hood. It took me a second. Uh, it has my, I guess the green means the pharmacy color, the color for pharmacy, and the and the red or whatever is my school colors. Okay, didn't know that. Sorry for moving around too much. If you're getting nauseous, take some anti-nausea. <clears throat> um, okay, I'm gonna put this thing around my 
shoulder to represent Kente Kwab, I'm Ghanaian. So a little history lesson, Kente was originated from Ghana. Every strand, every color symbolizes something. So, but this thing is just the typical color that's used. So yeah, I'm representing where I'm from. So I'm putting that on too. Guys, it's been, <laughs> it's been a long road, y'all. It's been a long road. Um, you see the string here? There's a little button inside. So University of YouTube taught me how to put my hood on and it taught me, taught me some tips and tricks and I didn't know there was a little button in there that can hook your cord because this thing likes to slide back a lot. So, yeah. And it's supposed to like hang over your shoulder. My hair is getting frizzy, y'all. It's okay. Okay. So, this is a weird angle. I wish I had <laughs> something like this. Like, this is how I look so far. And I'm going to put my hat on. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff out. Not tissue paper. Well, I kept it. Kept it in a nice shape. Should I keep that in there? There you go, y'all. Let me put some of my hair in the front. Okay. And this is how I look. <laughs> so I'm ready. I think I'm gonna go a little early because knowing me, I kinda will end up being very late. But this is the final look. What do you think? Put in the comments below. All right, so we're gonna head over there. I'm also gonna try to Instagram a bit. Hopefully my phone, I wish I brought, it's okay, I'm thinking too much. Let's, let's just get there. I hopefully I got enough good footage for uh, the video. So I'm back in the house. I need not throwing a party. I'm just having to get together because this this happened kind of really fast. So we're gonna just hang out. 
and then go out a little later. So I don't know if I'm gonna record that, we'll see. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the little bits that I was able to get for today. But all I wanted to say, just in case, I'm not gonna end it here just in case I'll add stuff, but I'm just gonna give you like, the, whatever. I'm gonna just say my last two words, but um, is that, I know it's cliche, but never give up. Um, I am a testament of not giving, giving up and having multiple obstacles where you like, I honestly, <laughs> I don't want to say I wasn't supposed to graduate because I graduated, but I wasn't expecting to graduate. And I was supposed to graduate like three years ago and it's now three years later and here I am. So never give up. And when things feel like almost impossible, just take a breath. Sorry, they're celebrating back there. Take a breath. And if you're Christian like me, just pray. God has everything under control. His way of doing things is not the way we think we're going to do it. That's the biggest thing I've learned throughout this whole journey. It was that his ways are definitely not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He thinks good for us. And how we imagine life is going to be, the road to there is not how we thought it would be. But we'll get there. And here I am. It was not the way I expected. Absolutely not. But I feel like I learned so much along the way about myself, about my strength, about my faith, and about the people around me, the support I had, um, the people who really stuck by me. Like, you would think once, you know, you leave and, like, people move on, they'll forget about you and they don't really care about what you're doing. But there have been people who have been by my side throughout my whole experience. Like, when I was feeling down, when I didn't know what to do, they were there for me, uh, emotionally, spiritually, they prayed for me. And I just wanna say thank you to those people. Uh, I couldn't really do this without my village. And I'm so grateful for you guys. And this graduation is not just for you, it's for you guys. You don't understand what it means to have a support system. And I don't think I would've been able to do that without you guys and without, and without God. So enough of being, uh, <laughs> Making this so gushy. Um, I'll definitely try to make another video because I'm just gonna chill and go on break and then start studying for boards. If you guys want more, let me know. I know it's been a while since I've been here, but I'm gonna try to give you a little bit more insight on where I've been and what's been going on and how I got here. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of whatever I'm gonna film. See ya. Hey, hey. Hey, <laughs> 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 <laughs>